day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I don't need church. I don't need, I do not need a church. I really, really, really don't. And God has shown me that. I don't need the so-called Western society church. Yeah. You know, that. and what he's recently showed me is that it, 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 it dominantly caters to the physical senses. Yes, sir. Not the spiritual. Right. The, the physical senses are the priority of these Western churches. Exactly. Exactly right. And so, like I said, man, I prayed about it and God reached down through the back end time and and he birthed out a, a Ken Taylor and, and a Weber Johnson and Thank you, Jimmy Hill and he, he raised them up for such a time as this just for my prayer. <laughs> And and, and 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 here I am, and I'm telling you, and I'm just growing. Yes, sir. The more ever since, and and, but, and even Brother Bateson, man, we we are more akin to spirit, and he and he really realizes. Hey, I'm man, with you, brother. I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when 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 I allow myself to see society for what it really is. Right. Oh, me and Chris are on, on one accord. Man. We like this. We I, like this. I, I like Chris, though. You always say stuff I want to. But, but Chris, <laughs> let me let me say this to you, Chris. If you walk in this room, bro, it, you will not be vexed the way you're vexed. You will realize that you can affect change by dealing with people on a biblical aspect than on a, a militant physical you know attack on these uh atrocities toward people of color and so i find myself in this 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 battle i'm like paul you know when paul said those sins that i would do <laughs> i would not and those that i would i i, I, I do yeah. you know i i i wouldn't i do but it's like that with me as far as dealing with society right yeah. you know uh when it's presented to me man the pressure that i get uh-huh yeah coming at me when i see these atrocities and it's the visual sight exactly it's the hearing it's the senses exactly. it's yeah. the physical senses that that bombard me man right. as a man of color come on and everything in me wants to lash out against that yeah. you know yeah. and sometimes i slip and i do but when i pull it back in come on brother come and on. i put it under the blood yes sir then i'm able to 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 see it for what it is and it is spiritual warfare exactly and i am the dominant force yes to that Come on, I control that force. That Come on, I speak in that that realm. And that the enemy cannot even come close to me because he has no authority or no power when it comes to my life and those that are within my reign. Come on. And you That's where it is. Hey, look, look. The whole point is when you when he steps in the spiritual ring with you, you have like been equipped. Yeah. Oh yeah. Take this joke on. Oh, that's he said that. That's that's one of the things I say too. And I keep trying to tell y'all. Hey, they even had something more than rocks, brother. Somebody got to sling the rock. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he did. Yeah. And, and I think that, that that's Satan's ploy is to get us to function in the flesh. When we start operating in the flesh, we actually fight his game. Exactly. You at his level. Yeah, yeah, his level, and he and he's expert at that level. <laughs> he he dominates. Yeah. He got more time and experience. Yep. No. He knows that level very well, but when we elevate to the spirit, we just cast him out. The exactly. same thing you gotta go. <laughs> and look, the liars, the liars could not take on a spiritually anointed rock. He could. But he could yeah. take on a cardinal rock. He did that a lot. He, he <laughs> beat some guys up, man. He was weighing them out. 
yeah, they were scared of him. Physically, yeah. they were afraid of him. Spiritually, right. they didn't even go fight him and was already was beaten. Yep. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They that were stuck rock, in that physical realm. That rock was anointed. And that to me is where we making our error in the in the in the United States of America. And I'm sorry, this is kind of from a figurative perspective. Uh, black people in America keep going to the oppressor to get out from under pressure. It answers the oppressor Jesus. didn't. The, thank you. The, the oppressor didn't, oppress, didn't didn't break the bondage the first time. It was dead because they were so benevolent that they said these black people need to get freedom. No, there was something else moving on them that caused them to, to relinquish the 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 stronghold or the lockdown. So why don't we go back to the same source? And I truly believe in my heart that the reason we don't go to God now is because we don't want to submit to him. Well, I think so. We want to still shake our booty. You know, we, but they, we just, they just moved from, from old straight out atrocities to acceptable atrocities. Wow. And that's all that was the only shift. And like I said, ain't nothing other than uh, what God's word is that's going to be eternal and that's going to be a a permanent fix on on anything in this world, right? Outside right. outside of death and destruction, because death and destruction is another permanent fix it, yeah. in this world. Look, so, I, could, you, could you correct that and balance out? It, it appears to be right. It appears to be right. Well, okay, well what I what I meant is something that lasts. Yeah. It it is it, it, it because because death will be consumed. It will be swallowed up. That's what he said, right? Uh, and, and he showed his prior so that I'm talking about longevity, a constant. Reoccurring. Yeah. Death. So so anything outside of God, it's, <laughs> it it does not last. It it really does not. You you can you can I mean, eventually there is it's built on failure. Right. Yeah, it is. It's, it's right. built on sand. Yep. And the storm come. Yeah. The rain, <laughs> the wind blow. Come on now. It, you know, and, I think and they fail. I think that's why the gospel I was I was reading the uh book of Acts, y'all, and I was reading the early chapters. That's why I had Acts in here today. But I wanted to uh go over the one where uh we'll go over it, not today, but where the Sanhedrin, so the, 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 the Pharisees, the Sadduc Sadducees, all the disciples there, right? And and uh, they was they was trying to say, why are you preaching under this name? Which means, what, or what is your source of your power? I was reading yeah. that was in the, I think it's chapter three, and 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 you know, you remember Paul, Peter said it. And as well as John, he said, you know, uh, I'm not going to be careful in this. Uh, you, you, what is it better for me to listen to God or to listen to you? Yeah. But, I, yeah. I let you, I let you be the judge of that. And so, I'm gonna do so check I this out. So they found out that it was in the authority and in the name of Jesus that these people Right. We're performing these miracles and these signs were following. Right. They knew the source. They right. knew it because they didn't have to figure it out. Right. Hey. And they desired and you know they tried to use it. Did you catch the problem? And, and, and didn't work. <laughs> so they were astonished that these people so they're like, How are you using it? And I can't use it. Can't use it. Hey, did you did you catch the problem? I like the other part about it is they said these are unlearned men. Ignorant yeah. and unlearned. Ignorant. This is ignorant and unlearned. Ignorant. They were ignorant and unlearned men. <laughs> but they had been with Jesus. <laughs> I, 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 I look, but so they're trying to say is that these people have not been trained by the world system. They hadn't. Nope. But they're speaking with power. Yeah. And yep. sometimes and wonders are following them. Yeah. They didn't get, they did not get authority through Caesar or through whoever else was had any authority or gave out authority and power. They didn't get it from 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 any of the religious leaders. You know, uh, it, it just it, it, it they could not deny 
if he told them where it came from, they had to believe that's where it came from because they couldn't point to nothing else. They couldn't point to, oh, God, ain't that something? In other words, they couldn't say that they got it from anybody else. I think one of the, one of the scriptures said that they were with Jesus. You know the thing that's really point about it is that we still sit, we sit in that place right now. That is what was required for us at, at Eden. But unfortunately, we step into the presence of God with a formula, thinking like we got to go in there with some kind of uh, incantation to dance in order to get in. Yeah. 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 We, we don't. Oh, we go in with a conversation. It's like, Lord, what you want to do? Yeah. Well, we, what would you have me to do? You see the situation. What's my part? I'm just if your part. Said, if he <laughs> said something, do it. If he don't say something, then just leave him alone. Leave him alone. He because said, it's not our fix. We got to leave the fix up to him. And I think, you know, the, even the scripture today was very clear that Paul, Showed an example. He said that he also did this in this manner, going to these different places and just talking the scriptures. Yeah, yeah. no, he had to actually show them. He showed them. You have yeah. to show them. Uh huh. And you know, I, I still thinking about your uh, your sister in law. That that time that she came, how she was like. Remember, she got she got a revelation of the word. Mm -hmm. yeah. she wanted to run with that one revelation yeah and and i i meant to ask you what where, where is she now she's over here with me where she was is yeah, she yeah. over she's still, yeah, real, she's, right? still, she's still over there she's still she, running what, what is she doing about the word is running. She running? our conversation is constantly about it but whenever we get together uh -huh. the yeah i mean well she she's 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 got the word in her it's just that it has not it is it, it, there, there's a lot of areas in her life that it that it needs to affect change so the it, the, the word is a tool for her uh -huh. and not not a tool that to allow god to use her but allow her to use god well, well you know and then i think that's where the when i was born concern about was for not to take a revelation and run with it instead of sticking with us to you know continue to get understanding you you, you see where i'm coming from she needed to well, she she's 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 getting plenty of uh of teaching you know she 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 goes to bible study two three times a week and all this other stuff and okay uh but like I said, it's it's not it's not affecting change in her. Yeah. But you know, a lot of times, bro, when we saw it happen, the way that it's taught, depending on how it's, it's taught to you, it, it will it will impede your growth in Christ. Uh, we would talk starting out in the church. We would talk to use the scriptures to get better jobs, to get better yeah. houses, to have better marriages, to have better children. We were not taught the scripture to bring us into alignment with the will of God, to cause us to submit or to be more submissive to his will. Yeah. Because, but we were taught basically to use the scripture to manipulate him. Yeah. 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 Allowing him to manipulate us. So we were gonna go in there and with a, with a, I, I, I can say it because I put sold out on it, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, I was in it. I'm, yeah. I'm teaching it. Like here's the formula, you gotta do this and you gotta say it this way in a lot of in a lot and he got to back his word. And you got talking to God, he said, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> what word I got to back to you? <laughs> I got another word you never heard before. Get out of my face. But nothing else. Depart from me. I never do. <laughs> another thing, though, know, is the elder. I don't think we took time to, uh, uh, with, the, with the small group settings with members in the congregation. But you remember, uh, I think you did where the ministers got together and and discussed the word did, did you not do that and your cameras we, got, all we had we had we had men's fellowship meeting that we but with the things that we talked about normally at our men's fellowship with things that dealt with uh 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 can i say not necessarily social issues but personal matters on a cardinal level okay. we never we never addressed it from the perspective of bringing you into submission to christ because we didn't even understand what submission to Christ meant. We if understand you understand what I'm trying to say. We're not, we're it, it, it wasn't. We didn't. I, you know, to be in a situation and say, you know, 
it to be persecuted and say you should endure the persecution. To say love your enemy, bless them that curse you, pray for them that despitefully you can persecute you. And never get to a point where somebody asks the question, why should I do that in the first place? And then when that question is asked, you can't give an answer. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah. And we didn't we didn't approach from that perspective. It was like, how am I going to get along better with my wife? Well, this is what women do. So we talked about that kind of stuff. And you know, how are you going to get along on the job? Not realizing that the man who really gave you the job was the Lord God himself. And you did not Ooh. have to work. The man who gave up. You had to beat him. Okay. We would talk. We would we would talk social structures, social order, personal relationship, but not the one with the problem. You probably too close to your mic. I think. The communication process was going on in order that you might <laughs> that, that you might uh, accomplish His will in the earth. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It, it, it wasn't talk. At least I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't living a life that was supposed to talk to Christ. Wow. You know what I'm saying? When a person prisons. My expectation wasn't that they were going to see the Jesus in me and be strong in it. My expectation was that I had gained prowess in that environment. I was going to gain prowess in that environment to talk to what I thought was necessary. Okay. You know, I don't know. I mean, I had bosses that I probably could have witnessed to that I, I hated and I supported. You know? <laughs> I, I had bosses that I went to that you know, I they didn't give me fire. I, so I never was taught how to interact with another person to draw them closer to the Lord. Maybe to get them to do what I think they needed to do. But that wasn't God. You know, and I and I think about all the missed opportunities to witness because of the error that we taught. We didn't teach, get the information from God and try to translate it. Like, you know, when we first started out, it says, uh, my sheep know my boys. Him up and know they were not following. That was one of the first things we talked about initially. And I asked the question, when last I heard from God? Woo! That was rhetorical. That was it wasn't even a still with a snipe. It just that's what that came out of my head. It's like that began to plague me because it got to a point where I hadn't heard that. And then when I did hear it, it stuck out so because I hadn't. Wow. You know, like it was something that I went around trying to do. But how are we gonna know what to do if we can't hear from God? And, and the problem I got to the other when I told y'all to brother uh, as before was when I went to the uh, first my first minister conference back in '95. The uh, the person I asked him, I said, "We need to tell him everything we know." And I don't know if I told you about as it, but they, yeah, I remember that that stuck with me. And I I just wondered the other with the ministry that you was in, were there intentional not to to uh, try to grow the congregation in the knowledge of God? I think that uh, the one congregation that spent a large amount of time in, theirs was to manipulate people through the word. <laughs> See? That was just on a personal note. They were doing like they were trying to not teach anybody, but they were trying to use the scripture to cause the people to perform what they wanted. Right. And they were they were masterful at it. They 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 actually converted the gospel to the point where, to me, it became almost a cult. Yeah. If people were following the pastor in the first day, more they were following Jesus because they had breached themselves in between Jesus and the people, yeah. and they were the image of Jesus that they wanted the people to see and to follow. Wow. And the fear, in a sense, is like you, you got to follow leadership. You're going against the leadership. Well, who is the leadership of the church? Who is the leader yeah. of the church? It's yeah. the Lord Jesus Christ. Who okay. should you not be seeking? It's Christ. If the Holy Ghost in you should be teaching you something. Yeah. And, so that we want to talk that. Yeah, that was the scripture said that that you would need what it say, you you won't need you have no need that man teach you. If you talk about God himself. Yeah, the Holy Spirit will teach you. And yeah. that's what we really want to get to people to the point of hey, that revelation with sin is the same revelation he'll give an individual, especially in a small group setting. And I, you know, that one I keep thinking about with Peter, with Jesus said, flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you, Peter. It was my father. But my father in heaven. That was a small group setting. Yeah. You, you know, what's really funny about that is like, when you get those numbers of people together and each one of them listening to God, uh -huh. God move all of them collectively. And I think the military, we was one of the greatest, some of the greatest training in the kingdom, the kingdom, I never ever had in my life. 
but we only had one guy calling Cater. Well, I, th I thought the fact is like I think I want to even expound to you when the with the centurion. He also the, the messenger of the Lord was with the centurion. Of leadership, yep. the military gave him understanding of the spiritual. Of faith. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. And but I, you, I don't think we teach, and I don't mean to interrupt you, that elder, but I'm saying y'all correct me wrong. We teach a hierarchy where there's other layers between you and God. What we really want to be able to say that the, the, the playing field of God's kingdom is that all of us across the board are on the same level. Yeah. You know? Or all of us have the potential, like I said, our faith muscles and so forth. Our, we all got a measure of faith. But it's whether people are you how you know who's taught to exercise their faith. We're not. Strengthen their faith. We're right? not. So that's the thing because, Go ahead. like, like you were saying, everyone was given the measure of faith, not a measure, yeah. but the measure, meaning the same measure, and that's why you go from faith to faith, meaning yeah. from word to word, because you were given the word, which was the gospel, yeah. to be in this body, Christ, and then you get more word which is more gospel to move from faith to faith to find out who you are and what you're supposed to be yes. but while you guys are talking I, I i i see how things work for my benefit because i was uh in pro in the process of being ordained oh wow. and uh wow. uh was going through you know the motions and stuff and as i look back you know I'm, I'm i'm trying to figure out how can a man ordain a man wow you know and, and i'm thinking back and i'm like so what was and then i was thinking so what was i doing i was i had to learn specific scriptures you know and and stuff like that but i'm like how does that how does that <laughs> you know, what does that have to do with anything? Exactly. If, if, if God, if God, if God called me yes, to the ministry, which he has called every saved soul yes, sir. Yes, sir. to be a minister of reconciliation. Come on. <laughs> so I'm like, who's this? How could they say who is and who isn't? You know, though I do know there are some qualifications but they are given they are and if you go by those qualifications there should be very very few exactly you know a lot of cases Leaders and 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 very few uh uh deacons uh-huh i think elder would say that a lot of cases the the person is trying to confirm that you you god is telling you to pick up the phone is that is that how to be able that's one of the uh yeah, like, so. boy you yeah. better go pick up you gotta call it <laughs> if you, you pick up the phone yep. yeah. 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 but but you also gotta if when you go through the scriptures david had a calling on his life yeah the, the one thing that the thing that david didn't have nothing to do with doing anything <laughs> but live his life and it wasn't until later on, how yes. many years? In yeah. several. As a matter of fact, Jesus spent 90% of his time prepping for his ministry. He only ministered 10% of his life. And yeah. then Moses was 80 years old when he got his call. So yeah. a lot, Moses. So uh, uh, most of us, there's a scripture that said, those who minister wait on the ministry, make yeah. wait on the ministry. There's yeah. a preparation period that we don't need them yeah. We just jump right into the process and we really don't prep for it. So we spend a lot of moments idly going around in circles. And then we get affected for like three minutes and then we're off the planet. Yeah. But uh but uh it, it, what what I think the westernization of the scripture of the of the religion itself or the belief system itself distorted it tremendously. And we're actually coming out of those distortions now. The crusade didn't work. Because they wouldn't ordain the God, the method that they used to try to regain the land. Yeah. Well, see, so I think I think what really distorted uh, those who are called to be ministers are the ministers. 
Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, because, definitely, man. Because this is the thing. Instead of being servants, yeah. they became religious leaders. Uh -huh. yeah, they did. And they were set up on a pedestal so that they were envied. Yes. And they, it was a desire to be in that position. Yep. Right. A desire to be in front of the people. So people desired that. And so they thought because they desired it that they were oh. called. Yeah. But when you figure out all that it is Come on. to become, man, I didn't want to have nothing to do with it. Well, you, you, I really didn't. You, I was like, you. man, to be a pastor? No, oh, yeah. no. But when I, saw I know I didn't want to be a pastor. I knew that I was called okay. to minister God's word. Right. And I thank God that a a a that a, a a situation in my life caused them to look past me. <laughs> I'm saying.